King Abdullah II of Jordan has arrived in Arnia on his first official visit at the invitation of President Armen Sarkisyan. The monarch was greeted by the Armenian Deputy Prime Minister Meher Gregorian at Svartnos International Airport. During the joint briefing with Sarkisyan, King Abdullah noted that Armenia and Jordan have many opportunities for cooperation. According to him, thousands of Jordanians rooted in Armenia have made a great contribution to the development of Jordan in all areas. Sarkisyan delivered a statement for the media and noted that King Abdullah's visit is a historic one. The president also thanked Jordan for sheltering Armenian genocide survivors. The King of Jordan later met with Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. The latter noted that the relations with Jordan and the Middle East are very important for Armenia, as we see them as a direction of strategic partnership, he said. While the king said, the Armenian community of Jordan is historically of tremendous importance for our country. King Abdullah added he is in Armenia to celebrate 100 years of special relationship between Jordan and the Armenians who have suffered in the region. The King of Jordan said he had met with private sector representatives who are very excited about the possibilities of building the bridges of cooperation between the countries. The European People's Party, the EPP, has referred to the Constitutional Amendments Referendum Initiative in Armenia. The EPP is concerned by the rushed procedure to initiate changes to the Armenian constitution, it noted on Twitter. We call on the authorities of Armenia to request and consider the opinion of the Venice Commission as soon as possible. Earlier, the Armenian president signed a decree on appointing a referendum on constitutional amendments on April 5th. The Central Electoral Commission chairman, Dikran Mugutyan, said Tuesday that the campaign for this referendum will start on February 17th. According to the draft for the referendum, Article 213 of the Constitution shall be amended so that the powers of the Constitutional Court judges who are elected before April 2018 shall be terminated. Armenia's ex-finance minister and state revenue committee ex-chair Gagi Kachadurian, who is in custody for about six months now as he is charged with organizing misuse during his respective tenure, has been transferred to a medical center. According to his attorney's statement, Kachadurian's treatment was interrupted and he was taken back to penitentiary. But after numerous complaints, Kachadurian was recently transferred to a medical center, although there were no medical changes. The coronavirus death toll has reached 1,018 and 108 new deaths have been recorded in the last day. The total number of infected people is 43,101. Since December 2019, a total of 31,728 people have been infected with coronavirus in Hubei, 18,454 in Wuhan, and 974 patients died, 748 in Wuhan. Meanwhile, Hubei Health Commission Chief Zhang Jin and Director Liu Yingzhi have been fired for unspecified reasons and their roles would be filled by Wang Hesheng, a member of the Provincial Committee of the Communist Party. A commemoration concert for the Armenian Genocide will be held at the Palace of Versailles in France on April 24th. The music expressing the voice of the Armenian people and its multi-millennial history will be interpreted in the Royal Chapel, the official website of the palace says. Three virtuoso artists will interpret the magnificent classical music of Armenia, joining memory and will to live in a powerful symbolic moment. The Armenian President and Prime Minister have sent congratulatory messages to Iranian President Hassan Rouhani and spiritual leader Sayed Ali Khamenei on the 31st anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. Hundreds of thousands of people were marching in Iran Tuesday. They were chanting slogans in support of the Islamic Revolution, which put an end to monarchy in the country. According to the Iranian president, there is no such great day as the day of the victory of the Islamic Revolution for Iranians. While the mass participation of the people shows that people attach great importance to their freedom and independence.